We are all guilty of not getting enough sleep. Staying up late to write papers, cramming the night before an exam, but why do we need sleep anyways? The truth is, sleep is important, and I am going to give you five reasons why you should get more sleep tonight. Number one, memory consolidation. The body cycles through different types of sleep during the night. As you can see in this chart, a person starts awake, then falls asleep into stage one, then stage two sleep. Then in stage three and four, also known as delta or slow wave sleep, the brain is working hard to turn short-term memories into long-term ones. Many studies have shown that the hippocampus, a part of the brain that is in charge of consolidating memories, can't do its job when you are sleep deprived. So, all those all-nighters that you pull a night before an exam are basically pointless. A famous Harvard professor by the name of Robert Stickgold states in one of his articles that stage 2 helps refresh the hippocampus so you have room to store new memories, while stage 3, 4, and REM help to consolidate memories so you can recall them later. As a side note, consumption of alcohol actually inhibits REM sleep, not just for one day, but for up to three. So think twice about the next time you party hardy before that exam. Number two, your metabolism. We all want to be healthy, right? Well, in Wisconsin, scientists monitored and tested over a thousand people with varying amounts of sleep. And this is what they found. Little sleep is associated with low amounts of leptin, which is the hormone that keeps your metabolism going. Little sleep is also associated with high amounts of ghrelin, the stuff that makes you really hungry. Likewise, the people with less sleep had high body mass indexes. Here's the best weight loss plan in the world for you. Get more sleep! So... Have I convinced you yet? Well, here's number three, your behavior. All animals, as well as humans, have a distinctive endogenous cycle that we refer to as our circadian rhythm. It is basically an internal clock controlled by our suprachiasmatic nucleus. Try saying that three times fast. Suprachiasmatic nucleus, suprachiasmatic nucleus, suprachiasmatic nucleus, suprachiasmatic nucleus. Yes! <laughs> or SCN for short. Monitors our body temperature, digestive system, endocrine function, sleep, cognitive processes, and level alertness throughout the day. Scientists discovered that the circadian pattern of two key hormones may make us at risk for depression. In a healthy adult, the amount of melatonin increases just before bedtime to make us sleepy, being responsive to dim light conditions. Cortisol, a stress hormone that is released by the HPA axis, also has been directly linked to patients with depression and insomnia. It is believed that there is a link between social rhythms like waking up and going to work and physiological rhythms like your melatonin and cortisol levels. And these desynchronized rhythms can make your behavior and mood very irregular. Which brings me to number four, your emotions. Have you ever had a bad day when you just woke up on the wrong side of the bed? Your emotions are very closely correlated to the amount of sleep you get in one night. With just one night of sleep deprivation, scientists discovered that the amygdala, the thing in your brain that has a primary role in your memory and emotional reactions, becomes really overly stimulated when shown negative emotional stimuli after sleep deprivation. When you are sleep deprived, you become super irritable because your amygdala is super activated. And no one wants to be around a cranky person, right? Last, but certainly not least, number five, your immune system. What many people don't know is that your immune system and the amount of sleep you get are very highly correlated. Scientists partially sleep deprived patients for five days, and then they performed simple blood tests. And this is what they found. With sleep deprivation, the amount of neutrophils and CD8 and CD4 positive T cells increased immensely, while the amount of B cells and natural killer NK cells decreased. In simple non-sciencey terms, 
This means that your immune system is filled with a bunch of bossy T cells and neutrophils that want to attack foreign viruses, but doesn't have enough B cells and NK cells to do the dirty work to actually fight them off. Hence, you are more vulnerable to catching a virus when you are sleep deprived. Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? Well, get more sleep. So let's review. By getting more sleep, you can improve your memory consolidation, your metabolism, your behavior, your emotions, and your immune system. Sleep goes hand in hand with your health. And if you're not getting at least seven and a half to eight hours a night, then be prepared to suffer the consequences. The best part about all the side effects of sleep deprivation is that they're totally reversible with more sleep. So what are you waiting for? Why are you still here? I'm off to go get more sleep. Peace out. Bet you got it all planned right. Bet you never worry.